Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel. So today I wanted to share my fall try-on haul of pieces that I have purchased over the past couple of months. Got some new clothes, some new jewelry, and also a few makeup items. I know that most of you guys are probably here for my Aritzia purchases, so I did purchase a few pieces from Aritzia. Not too many though, but one of them is a really big purchase for me. I'm mostly waiting for Aritzia's November clientele sale, which is coming up pretty soon. It usually happens right before Black Friday. About a week or so before Black Friday, they will have the early access to their sale. It's called their clientele sale. So if you've been here since the June clientele sale, um, generally speaking, the November clientele sale isn't as great in terms of the discounts compared to the June one. The June sale was 20% off across the board whereas the November one tends to be more like 10% off. However, after November clientele, there is usually more heavily discounted items during the Black Friday sale. And after that, there's a very long sale season. There will be like different sales that's going on up until like early next year. So it's gonna be a really long sale season ahead. A lot of items are gonna be more heavily discounted. I personally buy more heavily discounted items around the winter time at Aritzia than I do during June. So during June, I just purchase full price items at the 20% off clientele sale, whereas in the winter, I will generally purchase from their sales section where it's like more heavily discounted. Like I have gotten some really great coats for 50% off. So yeah, that's just a little update on my thoughts on the upcoming Aritzia sale. Okay, so let's get started with the haul. So the first thing I want to share is my a little haul from PD Paola. This portion of the video is sponsored by them. So I want to share a few jewelry pieces that I got from them. I'm actually wearing a few of it right now. I'm wearing some of their rings that I had picked out. They are really, really cute. So they are actually based in Spain, so these got shipped all the way from Europe. But here in Canada, they're also available at Hudson's Bay or the Bay, um, and also at Indigo as well. So there's a few retailers in Canada that actually carry this brand, but of course they also have their own online website, which by the way, if you do choose to purchase anything from their website, I have a discount code or link that I will um, insert right here and down below in the description box. So the jewelry piece that I am most excited for from PD Paola, let me just show you. It came in the little box, but instead of like the jewelry pouch, it came in this like long tube type of pouch. So this is, I think it's called their signature chain necklace. And it is such a bold statement piece. When I saw this one, I knew I wanted to have it because I don't have a single piece that's even remotely as bold as this piece. And I'm normally more into like the dainty type of jewelry. But since a lot of my clothes are more like basic, more neutral, I wanted to also have like a statement piece that I can wear just to elevate anything that's a little bit more plain, like a plain turtleneck or like a plain white t-shirt. So this is the perfect piece. Let me just try it on right now. And also, by the way, instead of having like a clasp, this clasp actually looks exactly like the rest of the links. So if you just hook it onto the very end, it's like a seamless infinite necklace. So you don't have to worry about the clasp like falling to the front, which I know can be annoying because a lot of necklaces that I have, that tends to happen. So this is the necklace on. I absolutely love it. Like it's such a bold statement piece, especially with like my plain white tank top right now. I can definitely see myself pairing this just to like elevate a very plain outfit like this. And I had also actually picked out the matching bracelet. So this is exactly the same chain, but in a bracelet form. So just so I can have it as like a matching set. They also have matching earrings with this as well. However, I don't have my ears pierced. I have a history with getting my ears pierced. Um, they've gotten infected every single time, so I kind of just gave up. So I can't wear earrings, but I really wish I could wear earrings so that I can get like the full matching set with the necklace, the earrings, and the bracelet as well. But yeah, I just absolutely love this piece. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous statement necklace. I can't wait to style this with more of my plain outfits. The last piece from P.D. Paola is this piece. I think this is called an infinity necklace. So this necklace has a pendant on it. The pendant is a little ring. So I thought this would be another cool statement piece. For pendant type of necklaces, I love pieces that have a more daintier chain. So this is definitely fits that profile. So this is what the necklace looks like on. 
I feel like it could still be like a statement piece, but definitely not as bold as the previous one. So like I mentioned before, if you are interested in purchasing anything from PD Paolo, I do have a discount code and a link that I will leave down below in the description box. Moving on to my Aritzia haul. I purchased four pieces from Aritzia in the past couple of months. I'm fully aware that there is a clientele sale coming up and I could have saved like 10%, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like 10% is not really worth it if I can get more wear out of something now versus when it gets too cold. So the first thing that I got is the TNA Cozy Fleece Boyfriend shirt. So this is a shirt jacket, but in the Cozy Fleece material, I got this in the color Heather Cloud White and it's in a size small. This is an oversized fit and just like all the other items from the Cozy Fleece line, it is pretty warm especially if you're wearing it for indoors and I only worn this as like an actual outerwear jacket when it was in the early fall so when it was around like 15 degrees to 20 degrees that is that's generally when I would actually wear this as a jacket um, I don't think it will work as like an actual fall jacket if you do want more of like a jacket jacket then um, consider the Ghana jacket because that one is 100% merino wool and a little bit warmer than this but this one definitely is more affordable so it gives you like the shirt jacket look but just in a more casual way so this is the sweatshirt on love the color i feel like this color goes with everything um i did get this in a size small so it's supposed to have like a more oversized effect but to be honest after i threw it into the washer and dryer it shrunk a tiny bit um but that's my experience with all of tna cozy fleece i feel like they all shrink a bit in the dryer so it's not as oversized as it once was but i still like it so I wouldn't recommend throwing this in the wash if you are scared for it to shrink. The next item is the Wilfred Only Coat. So this is the big purchase that I was mentioning earlier. This was $350, so after tax it was about like $400. That is a big purchase for me. Um, I could have waited until clientele to save 10% on this. That would have been a little bit more worth, but I wasn't sure what the weather was going to be like in December. So I wanted to be able to wear this for an extra month this year. This is the new version of the Wilford Only Co. It's in the color Gold Camel and I got this in a size extra small. So this is an oversized fit. Originally I had tried on the size small but I felt like it was a little bit too oversized even for me. Um, so I decided to go with the extra small and this is still roomy enough where I can wear a chunky sweater underneath. This is the Wilfred Only Coat. I love the fit of this coat. I've also tried on the slouch coat in stores and for some reason I just felt like the slouch coat looked a bit off. There was more flaring going on at the bottom whereas this one I feel like fits a little bit um, straighter at least on my frame. I am 5'3 and this hits me around like my mid calf. So it's quite a long coat. It is an oversized coat so it's got the slouchy shoulders even though it's in a size extra small. Like I mentioned, it does fit quite a bit. It, there is a lot of room in the armpit area, so you can definitely fit more um, chunkier sweaters underneath. This is the new version of the only coat. So it's got the two buttons compared to last year when I tried it on, it's only got one button. And then on the collar here, there's no more, st there's no exposed stitching. Whereas on last year's version, there was like some stitching on the collar. So I do prefer this year's only coat more than last year's. Next up, around the same time that I got this coat, I also purchased the Sunday Best Coco Scarf. So this scarf is very affordable for Aritzia actually. This was only $48 as opposed to some of the other scarves that are Ritzia. This is in the color Rich Mocha Brown and this is from the Sunday Best line so I think that's why it's a little bit more affordable and also it's not 100% um, wool. Whereas the Wilfred Classic scarf is 100% wool. I also have that one in a different color but I find like the overall vibe that it gives is the same. So if, you're, if you want something a little bit cheaper and you don't care for the wool content then this is a great alternative to a wool scarf. So this is the scarf paired with the coat. I love how like big and oversized this scarf is. Um, I feel like this might actually be a little bit poofier than my Wilfred Classic scarf. And the last item from Aritzia is the Babaton Contour um, square neck top. So they 
are famous for their contour bodysuits. However, I feel like I just don't really feel co that comfortable wearing a bodysuit and so I feel like I would get a lot more wear out of the shirt, the top version rather than the bodysuit. I absolutely love this color. This is in the color Deep Taupe, which is a nice like contrast to my skin tone. I feel like some of the other taupe colors like Fluent Taupe, it's a little bit too close to my skin tone. This is in the size small. I had actually purchased this one um, during the summer sale. It was just super back ordered. So I only received this top um, a couple months ago. So I didn't make it in time from for my previous Aritzia haul. So this is the contour top. I absolutely love the fit of this top. This color is also gorgeous. Like I mentioned, I think it complements my skin tone really well. This is in the color Deep Taupe once again. And after getting this contour top, I feel like I definitely want to try more items from the contour line. Maybe I'll finally try one of their bodysuits. But yeah, I absolutely love the fit of this top. I think this necklace also pairs really well with this square neckline here. Um, this color, I definitely would not pair these two colors together, but I'm too lazy to go change my pants right now. Okay, so the next few pieces are from H&M. So I had gotten a really great deal at H&M because there was um, a deal going on where you can get a $100 gift card for only $80. I basically paid $80 to get a $100 gift card plus there was a sale for 25% off $100. So basically I stacked both of the deals. So I ended up getting all of these things for like 25% off plus 20 off. So I don't usually purchase from H&M but one of the things I do really like from H&M are their sweaters. Some of the sweaters I've had from H&M for years ago I still wear because I tend to go for more of like the basic type of sweaters and what I love about them is how easy it is to care for them. As much as I do love my 100% wool sweaters, sometimes I don't want to have to deal with the maintenance. So if I wanted to wear something more casual, kind of like on an everyday basis that I was going to wash frequently, I would reach for one of my H&M sweaters. I've always thrown these in the wash and in the dryer on normal setting and they haven't shrunk or anything. So that's why sweaters are one of my favorite things from H&M. So the sweater that I got here is an oversized crew neck sweater. Um, it's in the color, I think it was called like light beige melange, but their colors aren't very consistent across the board. It is in the size small, but it is still quite oversized. So this is the sweater on. It's pretty oversized as you can see. It's got a side slit here. I feel like I will wear this sweater more just like draped out like this, maybe paired with some leggings. I'm not sure if this would be considered like a mock neck or crew neck, but it's kind of like in between. Um, I really like this neckline though. I have another sweater from H&M in the same neckline. I feel like in the winter I can get away with not wearing like one of the more open coats without a scarf because of this neckline. The next item from H&M is something I typically wouldn't buy, but like I mentioned, I got such a great deal that I just had to like try it out. I got a mini puffer jacket. This was a really, really good price. I ended up getting it for $45. It was originally $60. Um, with the 25% off, it was $45 and then plus my gift card. I think for $45, I think this is definitely worth it. Um, like I mentioned, I am more into like investing in classier pieces now. So I would probably save my Aritzia purchases on more of like the wool coats and the coats that I would wear like five years down the road. I've had wool coats from Aritzia from five years ago that I still wear today that I still think I would wear way in the future. So just my recommendation for like classier pieces that I think are going to be more timeless, I would definitely invest that money and purchase it from like a Ritzia or somewhere of higher quality. But, but for something trendy like this, I definitely think it's more worth it to buy it from a place like H&M. So this is the mini puffer jacket. I really, really like the look of this. I think it's so cute. I can also see myself pairing these like casually just with leggings or sweatpants. I keep seeing this style on other people. I definitely think it's more of like a trend right now. I definitely like it. It's very practical and it's very comfortable. Hopefully it stays in for a few more years because I really like the look of this jacket. There's a little drawstring at the bottom here where you can like kind of cinch in the bottom, which is what um, I did. And then this is what the jacket looks like zipped up. Lastly from H&M. 
I got these bucket hats. I just kind of like saw these. I think it was like recommended to me when I was checking out and I was like, wait, these are so cute. Um, this one is in Sherpa and this one is in like a plush material. I was debating between the two and I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I ordered both of them with the intention of just keeping one of them. This is the Sherpa. Honestly, I think I'm leaning towards this one. I feel like it gives like more of a cute vibe. And then this one is the plush. Between the two, I think I am leaning more towards the Sherpa. But let me know what you think. So another like trendier piece that I've been seeing everywhere lately are the Lululemon Everywhere belt bags. A couple months ago, I couldn't find them anywhere. I went to so many Lululemon stores to look for them. Eventually, I saw them back in stock online. So I had ordered this one. At the time, I was about to go to like Paris um, for vacation. So I thought this would be a great travel bag. So I had purchased this one. When I got it, I wasn't really in love with the color but i decided to keep it anyways because like i mentioned i was traveling so i wanted to use a bag for traveling so this is called silver drop so after i got back from my trip i no noticed that the white opal color was back in stock and this is truly the color that i really really wanted i love my neutrals i love my creamy neutrals so this was the belt bike that i wanted i know knew it was gonna get like sold out immediately so i just had to like place an order for this one so that's how i um ended up with two belt bags but these are really affordable anyways they are i think 40 dollars each i also have 20 percent off with lululemon so i ended up paying like less than retail for both of these so i thought it was okay they're not as hard to find online but they are definitely really hard to find in stores so this is the belt bag in silver drop it actually kind of matches my pants a little bit and this is the one in white opal i absolutely love this color i feel like this matches with most of my closet so i definitely wear this one um, more than the silver one next up i got some new items from cuts so i have mentioned cuts before i have um kind of like a partnership with them or every like couple months or so they send me a few pieces of my choice so this month i decided to pick out a few of their newer items so this is a sherpa quarter zip jacket i thought this was really cute and it would probably match with my h&m hat that i was mentioning earlier so this is the sweatshirt on um it is a quarter zip there is also a drawstring in here where you can kind of like cinch in the bottom so this is how i would wear it it also has pockets the hoodie type of pockets here with zipper on both sides so yeah this is a really cute like basic lounger piece and i can't wait to wear this more in the winter i also picked out one of their ribbed tanks i was pretty intrigued by this because on the website this looks like the sculpt the tank so I wanted to see for myself. Um, I picked out their the longer version of their tank in the color ivory. Um, this is in the size small. So let me show you. I'm actually wearing the Sculptman tank right now. So color is a little bit different because this one is ivory and then the Sculptman tank I'm wearing is in white. This material is like so similar to the Sculptman tank. It's got like the very heavy feeling stretchy fabric. I think out of all of the tanks that I've tried, this is the closest that I've ever seen to the Sculptnet tank. The uh, straps are a little bit different though because the trim on the edge is a little bit thicker, whereas on the Sculptnet tank, the trim is a little bit thinner. But in terms of the ribbing detail, it's like identical. So this is the tank on. It pretty much feels exactly the same as the Sculptnet tank. This is the long version and they also have a crop version just like they do at Aritzia. I do find that this neckline is a little bit higher though, so compared to the Sculptnet tank, this one definitely has a higher neckline. And then lastly from Cuts, they are most well known for their t-shirts, so I had to pick out um, one of their t-shirts. This is in one of their fall collection colors. This is in the color Birch, which is like a very light taupe color. And by the way, this is called the Tomboy Tee. It's in their quad version. This is my favorite cut from Cuts. This is the t-shirt in the color Birch. 
Um, not as bad as I thought in terms of the tone. It's definitely like a lot more of a cooler tone compared to my skin. I love anything neutral and my favorite t-shirt now is this tomboy tee in the white color so I wear that one a ton. This is the perfect crop length for me. It's like cropped enough where if I wear a um, high-waisted pants like these it just like stops right where my pa pants start so this is what I would consider like the perfect crop length for me. And lastly, because the Sephora VIB sale just happened, I picked up some essentials. So these are the only two things that I purchased during the sale. They are both from NARS. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and then I also picked up the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am wearing both of the products right now, and let me tell you, this is literally the best foundation I have ever tried. Before this, I was I actually didn't really have a foundation. I was using the Merit Minimal Stick, which I still love, but they serve like different purposes. So that was really good if you just wanted like a little bit of coverage, um, but didn't want to wear like a full face of makeup. I think I really need a real like foundation now instead of just using my minimalistic. I got the shade Vienna, which is um, light 4.5. The finish is just so beautiful. I would consider this more of like a sheer to medium even though it's labeled as medium. It's definitely buildable. Um, I put this on in the morning at 7.30 a.m. to go to work. I stayed out um, until after dinner, got home at 9.30 and I checked on my makeup and it was literally like perfect. It was still on my face. There was no dry patches. I was just so impressed with this foundation. I definitely recommend it if you are looking for a more um, natural sheer to medium coverage foundation. And then the NARS Creamy Concealer. I have used this before in the past. I love it. I think everybody loves it. It's a cult favorite so this one doesn't need an introduction. I got this in the shade Madeline which is light 2.3. So those are my only purchases from Sephora, but I did also receive these lipsticks in a PR package um, a couple days ago, so I just might as well share them here as well. This is the YSL Rouge Pour Couture, the Bold Collection of Lipsticks. So this is, I think, their newest line of lipsticks. I love my YSL lipsticks. I have, I think, 15 other YSL lipsticks, but I've never tried this line before. So I'm so excited to try them. I am wearing one of them right now in the shade number 12. I will also insert some swatches that I did on my arm yesterday. They last. The colors are gorgeous, especially for, I don't know, I don't know what it is about YSL, but I feel like it really caters towards like Asian skin tones. So the colors are really gorgeous. So yeah, that is everything that I wanted to share for my fall try-on haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys like this style of like a collective try-on haul. Please give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you will subscribe. I do a lot of fashion content and a lot of my closet is from Aritzia. So you'll definitely see a lot of Aritzia outfits on this channel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one.